Previously on Dragon Quest XI with Hendrik and Horde, of Heliodorian soldiers hot on their heels. We had hurled themselves toward the door of depression into the great unknown. All soaking in the steam baths of Hado, they meet a little lost girl called Connie and set out to help find her father. While searching, we decide to help a girl called Veronica, too, who's also lost her sisters. Everybody's lost out all their families and stuff, and... Uh... Ew. Sounds good. Well, we don't have any particular reasons for choosing who we help here. We just go after the ones that are, mo that are the most urgent, you know. Or the ones who are the nicest dressed. You know, all that whole thing. Uh, is there a horse bell around here? I don't know if there is. There totally is. It's right up here. I don't know how bad we really need a horse for this. Oh my god, what are these things? Jeez Louise. They have lots of HP. Uh, sure, 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 let's do it. Oh man, they got some speed on them too, huh? Uh, what do you say, since there's three of them, we take advantage here. Oh yeah! Finish them off with the cruiser rank, should be good here. Or just a regular attack. Nice. Time to turn up the heat. So I just went and looked outside. It is 7.09 in the morning, and it is still pitch black out there. And I'm like, what? Wow. Really? But I think it's because the window that I'm looking out is facing west. And also, there's a lot of trees. Ooh, we're going the wrong way here. And there's a lot of trees to the east that kind of block the sun as it's coming up, so we kind of can't see it that well. But it's just weird, because I looked out there, and I was like, isn't it, like, supposed to be 7 a.m. or something right now? And I looked, and it is 7 a.m. And yet, it's just that dark. It's so weird. Oh, well. Another wake robin, okay. Um, I guess I'd like to get back on my invisible horse. Thank you very much. Way we might also see. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I have some of that iron ore that guy was looking for, sure enough. Nice. I don't know how much he wants. Could be one piece, could be two, could be ten. I'm pretty sure it's just one. But, eh, you never know. It's another one of these doors up here, strangely enough. Hmm. Ooh, silence spell, huh? Yeah, well, that would that would do it. It's probably the smartest move he had at his disposal. You know, it's like, if you can't win a fight, you might as well just be annoying and cast status ailments, right? How else are you going to change the world? Bongo Drongo. I didn't mention this last time, but that is a cool last name for a fight, or for a monster, I mean... He's gonna go down even faster this time because number one, three of us, number two, we got better weapons, and number three, we were just always that awesome. Easy. Oh, there's so many of them here. It's kind of interesting how they spawn, too. Like, one of them's already standing there, and the other one just kind of hops in. So we wonder if they're not like two different species and maybe just look really similar. It's probably not that, but oops, I ran forward there a little bit. Ah, Easy peasy. Yeah, you kind of mess up the camera if you move around too much just by accident or whatever. Most of the time, you don't find you don't even mean to. Just find yourself doing it, you know, reposition yourself or whatever. See you later, horsey. Feel free to poop wherever you want outside here. I don't think anybody really cares. Oh, man. So here we are in the cryptic cradle. 
Can't believe that clown cryptic cradle. I hope he's doing okay. Let's do this. I miss that dude. He was so cool. Oh, he's down. That's that's not good. And I think I will use some spells. You should have silenced me, buddy. But I guess you can't do that, can you? Oh, defense more decrease, huh? I'm gonna get rid of some of these. Nice. I'm not sure if Veronica has a set HP at this point, but, um... Ooh, treasure chests. Hell yeah, green eye. Wing of bat. Yeah, I found that, like, the more, I, the, the older I get, the less I want to fight in RPGs. Or JRPGs or whatever. But for some reason, in this one, it, there's just something about it. Something feels good about fighting in this game. I don't know if it's the music or what, but... It's just that solid drum beat, you know? It just feels good, man. Just all the monsters have cool poses, and it feels good to hit them. Yeah, this nice little arena you're fighting in. And wherever you're fighting, it always looks like the same room that you're actually standing in. So it doesn't take you out of the moment too much, you know? It feels like I'm there. I'm fighting. It doesn't feel like I'm being... Like I'm playing a separate game or something. And not to say that that is how it feels in other RPGs. But just, there's something about the consistency of this... The way that it all just feels like it's all happening cohesively. Even though clearly it isn't, but still. This feels nice. Damage numbers look cool too. Nice contrast to the background, you know. That light orange yellow chartreuse she color. Well, it's not chartreuse, but it's something. Anyway, there's some more iron ore for us right there. Check the walls here. Just be very careful. Like, even right here, you know, now we're facing in the hallway towards the intersection that we were just walking towards, you know? Plus, at least at this point in the game, battles still go by fairly fast. That helps a lot, too. Okay, these things, if I remember right, can get a little annoying, but I don't offhand remember why. Maybe we can find out here in a second. Well, usually they attack in more in bigger groups than this, though, so yeah, I figured one probably wouldn't be too big a deal. It's a pretty good experience for that, though. Okay, so you're going to want to pay attention to your map pretty closely in this area. Because, well, if you look at it now, you can't see it doesn't seem so bad, you know? Well, the reason for that is because a lot of these floors will drop into a floor below. In fact, can I change level right now? Yeah, I can. So there's a floor below us here. And that floor is not too big. But every time you fall down to it, you're going to have to make your way back out of it again, which is kind of a pain in the butt. You can see just to the left of where I'm standing, there's like a staircase of hearing to go down there. So that's how we're going to get back out normally. But there will be other ways, because I feel like there's more than just this to the lower level. I don't remember offhand how much more. Ooh, this could get weird. Um, when you're fighting like two of something and then two of something else can't really target all of it. I'm gonna target what you can. <laughs> Did he just punch me with his eyeballs? That's ridiculous looking. Thank goodness that five finished off the one over there. It's also, I'm pepped right now, so my attack is up a little bit. Oh, Eric got the first turn there. Yeah, like the last turn of the first set, and then the first turn of the second set. 
That worked out very nicely for him. Well, for us, I should say. Well, this is better. Okay. Um, let's see. Huh, interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna attack the direct mage. Just let Eric take care of the rest. Yeah, Veronica's not gonna show off any of her magic just yet. So I guess they wanna save that for a crucial moment, you know? You know how these games are about withholding information from the player until a crucial moment. Well, that's what they're doing here with Veronica. Though she seems like just some random, you know, little girl that's gonna be useless, like Rydia or something. <coughs> And no, I'm not saying Rydia is useless, I'm saying that she, like, that like Rydia, she was seemingly useless. But then you find out, you know, after you spend time with her, that nothing could be further from the truth. Is that some holy water from that drump? Or whatever that... I mean, call him that, but okay. As you can see, we just fell through the floor, so... I guess this place just really stinks that bad. Easy is as easy does. A order for acquiring a total of at least five thousand gold coins. Okay. Well, we just barely got out of the first room here after falling. Um, we're gonna need to heal up here and let me see if I can. I'll just sort of handy heal all. That'll be good. All right. So since we fell, we can get back up by way of the ladder over there, or we can explore down here. But the thing is, you're going to be forced to fall down here at least a few more times, so you might as well just climb back out. You'll see the rest of it all in due time. All in due time, my friends. So that's where we fell earlier. The floor will still stay open and you won't be able to like crawl along the sides of it or anything. You're just going to have to find yourself a different way. Which in this case happens to not be this way, I'm pretty sure, because right here it's gonna... Or maybe it won't. It's one of these again, huh? How peculiar. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. What happened here in the past? How far into the past are we going? Let's find out. Forget my shadow if it wasn't so non. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way around. Well, thanks for telling us that now. Um, yeah. I want to say, okay, maybe he almost went this way, and then he decided to go right instead. But in the dream, or in the vision, there were like little piles of rubble on the left and right side of this. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose that was in the past, after all, so... Besides, you still want to come down here, because there's chests down here, so yeah. The other one bites the dust, you say? Well, oh, let's see. Ooh, shiny spot, shiny spot. Chuck of iron ore. Uh oh. That doesn't look friendly. Looks like we may need to mount something, huh? Ooh, green eye and genital herb. Not too shabby. Ah, uh, there's one right there. Ooh, somebody's poisoned here. Let's, uh, let's do this the normal way here. Antidotal herb on me. And so as not to consume magic, I think I'm gonna go with... 
Just a little herb on myself here. Yeah. That should keep us in good health for a little while. Wow, that guy dropped a beast bone. I don't remember what that's for offhand, but we have one now, so. Okay, you just appeared out of nowhere. Are we on the same map? Yeah, this is the same one. There's just a door in the middle of it. That's really weird. Can we open that door? I feel like we can. Let me see. This might be one of those doors that only opens from one side, and so maybe it's worth it to actually check it out. Sometimes you just never know. Is that a treasure over there? We are on the bottom level, so we don't have to worry about falling through the floor again. We got an Yggdrasil leaf. Jeez Louise. That sounds important. I think I've done enough fighting in here for now. The crazy thing is, as much fighting as we've done in here, we've yet to gain a level. It's awfully strange, isn't it? Well, that's not due to any sleight of hand or trickery within the dungeon itself. It's just we just happen to have not gained a level yet. It's kind of, it's kind of why I wouldn't mind keeping on with fighting. Oh, yeah. Let's pick the devil. There it is. Level 13. Hell yeah, man. No, no skill points right now. But we better... It's 300 monsters? Yeah. All right. Well, now that we have the mount, we can climb up the wall. Climbing up the walls. Hmm. That's supposed to be Radiohead, but, like, that's not the kind of song you can really just sing now, is it? Look at this guy in the fourth position over here. Hmm. Oh, nice. Thank you for finishing that one off there, Veronica. Oh, jeez. He stole my MP. Well, that's one annoying thing I can do. Fortunately, Eric doesn't use much MP with his typical... You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been, like, stealing from monsters. I should be doing that. Huh. So hypothetically, if you wanted to steal, you'd go to abilities, go to half inch, pick your poison. Get a handful of glass frit? What? Really? Dude, that's not bad. Usually you don't find that sale way later, right? Or am I thinking of somebody else or something else? Huh. The only problem is if you would like to attack or steal with Eric, then you're losing out on some of your attack power, so... But, that's just the way the story goes, right? Oh, and it doesn't always work, as you can see. But that's pretty much part of the course in any RPG. J and A both, you know. J and R means so insensitive. So uncivilized. Nope. What we got? Holy water. see so on the map so in the cutscene we saw I think he was referring to this hallway here it's saying don't go down this one but take the long way if you look at the map that indeed is kind of the long way there so let's try it more monsters to kill up here I believe we want to see this room over here Nice. So make note of that. Mini metal right there in this dungeon. Yep. Alright, well, uh... Sorry, I mean chips right now. I need to stop doing that. It's, let's at least go down here and get the map completion anyway, because... 
Yeah, like I said, there's probably something in that room too. I tried to steal from the zombies like three times in a row and couldn't get whatever he had, so... Okay, I tried to steal twice from the Drac Mages there just now, didn't get anything there either. <laughs> A pair of robber gloves. Ooh. Hang on a second here. This might be just what I needed. Just what I needed. Gloves, beloved of beginner bandits, that boost the deafness of the wearer, which in turn, I imagine, would boost his steal rate too, wouldn't it? It's a little down on the charm, but yeah. Mm, it's better defense. A little less max HP, but then again, he's not exactly hardened for that, so. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Uh oh. Yeah, you can still fall through the floor even when you're crawling on one of these, so. Why does this happen to spot here? Two chunks of gold ore. Yes. Oh, there's the message telling us about how to get the thing. Two chunks of gold ore, you say? Well, even while mounting a monster, we can still use the fun size, it's fun size forge. So why not? Also, max focus increases by one. Doesn't seem like much, but it's doable. So let's make ourselves a gold ring then. Yep. Watch as well. Like, what else are you going to do with it, really? All right. Bash. 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 Nice. Finish this with a lightning bash over here. Perfect. That's really good. That's probably a plus three right there. Yep. Man, who are we going to give that to? I don't know yet, actually. <laughs> Two perfectionist pearls. Nope, nope, I'm good. Ooh, pick up whatever this is. No, 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 no. Chunk of iron ore. Ah, uh, let's see. Might have to give up Gemma's charm at a certain point here. Because the gold ring is going to be way better. Oh, the gold chain is even better. It boosts his HP by just a bit. So yeah, I could have transferred that extra HP to myself. Or we could do this and boost our defense by just a bit, you know. Just a bit. Uh, that doesn't... That looks like more than just a bit to me, I'll tell you what. Anything that's over 10% is not just a bit as far as I'm concerned. Anyway... So, anybody doing anything exciting for this Thanksgiving coming up? Or, wait a minute. That's not for like another three weeks, though. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? I don't know, I'm probably not going to be doing much. Ah, oh, let's see, so we know those are traps already. This might as well take the long way here. Come around the left side. Yeah, I'm just not having any luck with that ceiling in here tonight. I'll tell you what. There's another chest right here. Silver platter? Oh, uh, that's a shield. Who can use that? Don't have any equipment for the right hand. How is it compared to what I have? It's better on the charm, but I don't know if that's worth the drop in defense, though. Besides, once again, we'll have other party members that can probably use it better. I'm not going to go down there and try to get map completion just to trigger a trap. It's not worth it. Besides, we're basically done with the dungeon now. 
That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there. Over there. Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Mm -hmm. That's your sister? Didn't you say it was her Serena. little sister? We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together. There is no way that can be comfortable. Like when I sleep, I have to do. I have to have at least like three pillows. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I. Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and. Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who. But. How did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> <laughs> What does she oh, mean yes, by that exactly? Funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <sighs> Dead? <laughs> Not me. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Kid sister! Kid sister! Oh, this, oh, man, I balls it up. Well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. Well, now that makes even less sense. But we don't Jeez. have the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. <laughs> we still look like one, though. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. I have some magic that is really rather quite deadly. Okay, but does that mean, well, they're still not in the party yet, are they? No, they certainly aren't. It's okay. You know. Oh, uh, well, that was cool. Yeah, another one of these, huh? Can we do this while mounted? Guess so. I love how the monsters is gonna hang out here with us, you know, watch the watch the scene with us. <laughs> Plus. Humbra Kadumbra. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. Jeez. Well, he's in. Cool. Let's get back on our pet. Okay, so why is there one candle lit in the wall here, and then there's one that's like, there's no candle? Does this mean something? Is the wall winking at me? Can I, like, walk through this wall? <laughs> oh, they're all kind of like that, though, aren't they? They're all asymmetrical. Huh. How bizarre. 
But then there's some that, like, have zero candles. Dude, this reminds me of a dream I had the other night. Where, oh god, what was it? Um, it, it was really dumb, basically. It was something like I got a 10% bonus for something, and then a 10% of that when I went through the game again, and then a 10% of that. So I ended up with like a total of 11, 11%, but there were like zeros in between. And then I got this card celebrating that, and there were zero ones in all the corners, and it was just weird. It's like the ultimate binary dream or something. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, it's too embarrassing to type it again. You know, we're not doing that. Just say the word, whatever. Oh my god. Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a spe- You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. <laughs> Veronica. Huh? Hi there. <laughs> oh boy. Smashing. I do love guests. <laughs> freeze frame, freeze frame. When they bring me presents, if it isn't the one that got away, talk about it in the jackpot. Now, just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! Uh, looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. Oh, we like it. <laughs> Trust me. Alright. Oh, where do I even begin with this one? Still only in control of myself and Eric at this point. So, that's a thing worth noting. But the reason we can't control Serena and Veronica is largely because he has their magic trapped, and so all we can really do with them is attack anyway. Fortunately, I have some attacks of my own that I can use, like... Well, oh, this is Eric's menu, my bad. But, uh... Probable Rouser wouldn't be bad. Or we could go after him. I don't know. It's better to just attack it. <clears throat> Probably better just attack at this point, you know. I mean, at least you're hitting everybody for something. Once we get it down to one enemy, then Rubble allows it might be worth it then, but... Yeah, see, this is where it gets tricky to, where it, to move the camera when you have a party of four. It's kind of hard to get in a spot where you can see everybody, you know. It's like you move it over here. Most of that's because I'm in the center of the party, or like in a central spot, which, you know, whatever. It's not that big a deal, it's just a small thing that you might. Like, you might want to put yourself on the edge of the party, or move, or something. Because what you can do is just move, like, move Eric over here like this. And then others will kind of scatter about a little bit. They'll do their proper social distancing on their own. Uh, I hope this helps. 
Oh, she's giving us the buffs. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see here. Um, let's do the scissors again. Nice. Alright, that's one down. Others should be following very soon. Oh boy, Ooh, this ain't good. Okay, yeah, that cool breath is pretty nasty. Um, uh, is it worth it to do it again? Probably. Yeah, it totally is. Mm -hmm. that one off. Okay, now it's down to just him. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Let's see what we got here. Flame Slash and... Healing's probably not the worst idea. We can do with magic. Kind of both need it, don't we? Um, here. Thanks. He needs it more, so give it to him. <laughs> oh, there we go. She just did to me. Okay, cool. And then he missed. Even better. It's all coming together now. Let's throw the Rumble Rouser down here. Rumble Rouser. I never say that right. It's like, holy crap, dude. Try a little flame slash here. Ooh. Not bad. Just the right amount of salt, too. Ooh. Getting ready to do the thing again, so might as well. Uh, could actually defend on this turn if you wanted to. That might be the smart thing to do here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. No, I'm gonna waste my pep defending, I'll tell you that. Pretty nasty, though. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Okay, nothing worth sealing. Yeah, that's kind of a relief to be honest. That's the second time I've tried to seal from a boss and it said there was nothing worth sealing. Which makes me think that bosses in general in this game just don't have stuff worth sealing. Normally that's something I would already know, but I've never played a sealing setup with him before. So, it's kind of, this is all a little bit new to me here. It's just us and you, pal, who wants to go down first here. Gucci Capesta. Thanks. Thank you so very much. Saves me from having to do it. Let's get that reestablished. Ta-da! Freeze! I don't know if there's a point to doing this like twice in a row. I don't think it might be. It wouldn't. It wouldn't like do double hits or something like that, I can imagine. Bruise Bruiser won't do much of anything, so... Yep. Well, there you go. He's dead now. <laughs> Never mind. I'm overthinking it. Oh, boss. You have such a good experience in this game. I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right-hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Nothing but a shattered dreams, shattered dreams. Who Feel is this like Lord I could of run Shadows away. You keep mentioning anyway. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <laughs> <sighs> 
Pot is such a funny word. We'll find out soon enough, huh? Right. Time to get my magic back. Damn straight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I throw out a magic. What do you do, just breathe it in? Oh. Maybe you should get in there too, and are you sure he didn't steal yours too? <laughs> you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> but I rather enjoy this form. To worry on that front, I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then, why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. Who cares? I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say: you're only young twice. <laughs> trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, it could be worse. You have to oh, she's going to grow up again, now, right? You? You now she knows. She said she knew. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. So they know who I am. Why is that? How is that? Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. Two clowns singing with one voice. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. No, oh, that's actually definitely two voices, though. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please. You must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. <laughs> Maybe we're starting to? Talk about. I don't we know. We have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Awarded for being recognized as the Luminary by the two twins from Arborea and trusted with assuring your safety. Ensuring your safety, rather. I'm still riding the Spiden. Still riding the Spiden. Oh my gosh. Riding the Spiden as we vote for Joe Biden. Oh, hello. Um. Now I'm gonna have to dismount to pull those things up. Grubby bandage. Were there not any pots on the other side? I feel like I would have seen them if they were there. No, I guess not. Is there some down here somewhere? Well, there's a thing here. Chunk of iron ore. Some tells me we got more than enough iron ore for that dude now. I have to make sure and turn that quest in when we get back. But apparently there's still more to do here. Problem is, we're getting way up there on time right now. This is like a totally gross bathtub that I feel. Well, is that wine in there? Maybe that's not so bad. Is that what they're doing in this place? Making wine? Is this my basement in Stardew Valley? 
I think we might have a crossover here. I don't know. Anyway, next time we're going to go through this door and see what awaits us on the other side. Because apparently there's more here. So yeah, see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.